Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here from the school. In this video, we're going to cover the basics of brake falls. And there are many types of brake falls, but we're only going to cover the um, probably the most likely ones that you'll use. So we're going to go through the side brake fall and the backwards brake fall. And each one will be catered for different situations and how you would use them. So we're going to go through the principles of how to make these, these brake falls work. And then of course, when you practice, um, you can do it at your own free will. Before you start, you've got to make sure you have a nice safe area to work with. You don't want anything too solid, okay? Uh, I'd recommend trying to do this on, on soft matting, okay? Uh, if you've got grass in your garden, that'd be good, as long as it's, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing on the ground that can obscure harm. Um, just make sure you've got plenty of room to work with. It's important to learn how to do a brake fall for a number of reasons. Number one is that not every self-defense situation will happen uh, on the feet it's very likely there's every chance that when you're when something happens that you could be taken to the floor number two sometimes it's a surprise attack um, you don't see it coming so therefore you're unprepared uh, or unaware of it and you can be put on your back or on your side very very quickly and you need to be able to react very 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 quickly with that brake fall to stop you from primarily from injuring yourself really badly of course when you do a brake fall you're not going to do it on soft matting. You're not going to do it on a soft surface. It's likely going to happen at the worst possible time where you're out and about uh, minding your own business or whichever and you know some, something happens and you end up on the floor. Um, and it's likely to be on concrete. Well, of course, that will hurt a lot more if you don't land properly. So this is the purpose of the brake falls is to make it so that you're less likely to injure yourself and therefore you're able to recuperate. So to start with, we're going to do the sideways brake fall. So this is based on the fact that you've been swept from the side or a hip thrown or, or anything like that. So we're going to start off in this position here. So from here, principles you need to follow. The first thing is, whichever leg is kicked out, that's the side you're going, okay? So you're going to kick out this leg, all right? This is just for the drill part of it. So you go leg out like this, Okay, and what you do is you look over the shoulder to the way you're going. Now, from here, this tells you everything's going to happen on this side. So you don't need to worry about this side. Okay, it's, we just follow this side of our body. So we look over our shoulder and what we're going to do is we extend our arm nice and stretched. We're going to do that because what we want to do is reduce the impact in one area. We want to spread it across an area. So. By spreading that impact, you're less likely to injure your ribs or your hip or anything like that, okay? We want to land with our palm side down, so like a high five in the floor. We don't want to land with the back of our hand because of our knuckles and our tendons in our hand. And obviously, this side of our arm is much more bony, much more exposed to the surface, whereas this side is a lot more fleshy, so therefore it can spread the impact better. So, leg goes out, look over your shoulder, extend your arm and let yourself go down and you have to make sure you look in the way that you're going for a number of reasons number one so you can see if there's any obstacles or other people there to, that might hinder your your fall number two so you can see a possible exit route number three it also means that you're keeping yourself turned here if you turn like this you're in a really bad position and you can wind yourself from the impact so landing here means you can now cover up and protect yourself. Out of instinct and out of habit, what I do is I pull my leg in like this, with my arms in. And the reason I do that is so if my attacker was to continue coming after me, I can use my leg, particularly my side kicks or something like that, as a defense or as a, uh, a distance maker. So, from here, we go one leg out. We go the same side. Let yourself go down. Don't try to jump into it. Just let yourself go down. Boom, like this. Stretched out, okay, so that everything's really spread. Okay, this leg's tucked in here, and then we get back onto our feet really quick. Okay, so let's do the other side now. So, again, same principle if you go this way, all right, you're going that way, all right. So, from here, we extend our arm, we just let ourselves go down, stretched out, looking the way we're going, tucking the leg in, and then straight back up. Okay, now when you uh, do this practically, Obviously, from, if you think about it from, a, from an angle, if I'm in this position here, and I got grabbed and swept here, 
okay, then it's very, very likely that I'm going down this way as opposed to going that way. All right, so if I had an arm go around me here, it's likely that I'm being swept this way, turned, and going to do my break fall this way. It's the same principle. The leg kick out idea is for the training of the drill, but it's still the same. <clears throat> so from here, imagine I was being taken from this point, this leg was being swept from underneath me to take me that way, okay? So from here, what I do is I go like so, but then I turn like this. So what I've done that time was I let my leg go out, but I pivoted on my standing leg. So what it meant was that I turned into my break fall and therefore, taking even more impact away because I'm rotating into the fall. So one more time. So as opposed to going straight down and boom, okay, what I'm actually doing is going down here, turning away. I'm simulating that I'm being taken down, all right? So his leg goes out, turn, boom, here, and then back in, okay? Now, backwards break falls are a little bit different. They're actually a combination of both the side punts together because both arms go out. Where would you use it? Well, this is the kind of break fall that would happen from a spear tackle. So someone, you know, rugby tackle or spear tackle, whichever way you want to call it, going straight for your waist to take you down in front of you. Or it might be that you've been pushed from the front to the chest you know, quite hard. Um, you've got to remember a lot, of, a lot of this will happen when it's least expected. So your balance won't be uh, in a grounded state. If you know someone's gonna try and push you over, then naturally what will happen is you will ground your stance and you will put yourself in a stronger position. But if you're minding your own business, talking to someone and suddenly, boom, someone spear tackles you, you're less likely to be prepared for it. So your, your legs are more likely to give out. So with the backwards break fall, the principle is we start here, we, uh, we get pushed as such, okay, and we tuck our chin in so that we don't bang our head. We cross our arms here and we make sure we cross our legs in. We're trying to make ourselves into a bowl, basically. So I go down and then I curl straight up. And again, we're doing that to protect our organs, just to protect ourselves from, from further damage. All right, so from here, basically it's this one and this one combined. So the arms go out flat, but the legs tuck in. And again, it's palms down, all right? Like so, boom, and then straight back in. Of course, from standing, then it might be that you get pushed straight down, your legs kick out from here. So it's a case of straight down, boom, here, possibly, okay? So you've got sideways break fall and you've got the backwards break fall as well. So I practice those quite religiously. Um, it's not necessary to do tons and tons of practice because of course you, you don't want to go hurting yourselves, but you need to have an idea of what's going on there. Okay, so practice those and um, let us know how you get on in the uh, in the comments. Like and share the video, and uh, there'll be more breakfall related content coming up in future videos. But for now, take care of yourselves, enjoy, and uh, happy training.